Welcome to Page Plus. In this video, we're going to look at using assets to build up the content in your publication. So to begin with, I'll go ahead and create a new A4 document. Now we've got the Assets browser on the left-hand side here. Page Plus comes with a variety of asset content, all of which we can access by clicking Browse. So here's the Asset Browser. We start off in the Graphics category, but we can change between categories by clicking on them like so. And what we do is browse the assets and choose which assets we'd like to add to our list on the left here. So for example, I might want a particular background which I can click to select. We'll see it added to the asset list here. What we can also do is click the Add All button and that will add all the assets within a particular category, in this case, grunge. So having added all these backgrounds, I can click close for now, and I can then go ahead and browse them. Once I've found a background I like, I can then click drag it onto the publication. That's the background taken care of. Now let's find a logo to go on our page. So once again, I'll click browse, this time, let's have a look in Theme Layouts. Now this contains assets for all the themes that ship with Page Plus. You can get to all of those through the Startup Assistant Templates menu. But we're interested in graphics from a particular theme called Aperture. So once again, we'll click Add All, then Close. And once we've found a logo that we want to use, we can click drag it onto the publication. Now, at the moment, it's tiny, so what we can do is click-drag the corner handle to resize it. Now, at this point, you'll want to hold down the Shift Modifier key, and this will keep it in proportion instead of stretching it. So once we're happy with our resize, we can let go of the mouse button, and our next task here is to align it with the centre of the page. So we can go down to the Align tab here, and click the Center Horizontally option, and that will center this graphic. From the added Aperture Assets, we can also click-drag a gradient onto our publication. So we'll want to line it up with the edges of the document by using the corner handles. Now the next port of call is to add some picture frames. So if we go into picture frames here, we can click browse, and you'll notice if we access the asset browser from a particular category here, as opposed to clicking the browse button, it will automatically take us to the correct category. So once again, we can browse down until we find a particular picture frame that we want, in this case, we're going to pick a vignetted picture frame. Then we can click drag it onto the document, place it where we wish. And then if you want to duplicate an asset, one very quick way to do it is to hold down control and click drag. And you can see it's also snapping to horizontally align with the previous picture frame. Now, if we want to center align multiple picture frames, we can shift click to select both of them. What we then want to do is click the group objects button. And this will group them together. But it also means when we center horizontally, we center around the middle point of the group here. So we can now go ahead and ungroup these but we'll create two more picture frames, again by holding down control and click dragging until we have the alignment as we wish. Okay, now we need to fill these with some pictures. So to add pictures, we'll head on over to the pictures category here and click the add button. Then we want to navigate to a folder containing our images. And an easy way to select multiple images is to click the first one, navigate down to the last one, hold shift, click the last image, and we'll select all of them. Then we can click open, 
So now all we need to do is click each picture and drag and drop it into the picture frame. Now we can reposition the image within the picture frame by enabling position image. We'll then repeat the process for the remaining picture frames. Okay, so we'll now want to go ahead and add our header or title to this page. So if we have a look in page content and click browse, we can have a look down the different themes available until we see a heading that might suffice. In this case, we'll pick this lorem heading here, click close, then we'll click drag it out onto the page. Now the great part about these assets is that they are separable. So for example, if we click this red text below, it's selected separately, it's a separate object. And we can simply right click and cut it if we decide we don't want to use it. That just leaves the heading text here. Now we're going to title this page Aperture and we'll notice the first letter here is colored differently. So if we click drag to select it separately, we'll replace it with an A simply by typing a capital A. Then we can shift click to select the rest of the text and type the rest of the word. Now, of course, we can't quite see it at the moment. So what we're going to do next is add some drop shadow. And we can do this by hovering over the effects tab here. We can then tick drop shadow, tweak the options until we achieve the effect we're after. Then we'll resize the text slightly. And finally, we can center align this as well using the center horizontally option on the align tab. Okay, and we can add a final flourish to this graphic and also make the text easier to read. If we select the graphic, we can move across to the transparency tab here. Then we can select a gradient and simply by clicking several gradient options, we can experiment and find one that we like. So there we are. There's a quick primer on how to start using assets included with Page Plus. If you have any questions or queries, please do visit the official Serif Community Plus website. Thank you for watching.